Blessed be God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And now and in the kingdom. Now, now and forever. forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, for the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and gracious Father, we give you thanks for the fruits of the earth and their season, and for the labors of those who harvest them. Make us, we pray, faithful stewards of your great bounty for the provision of our necessities and the relief of all who are in need. To the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. gospel appointed for this evening, I'm sorry, the psalm appointed for this evening is uh, Psalm 126 found in your bulletin or in the Book of Common Prayer on page 782. We will read it responsibly by half verse. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, yeah, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and, and we are glad in you. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Reading from the book of Timothy. 
First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for everyone, for the kings and all who are in high positions, so that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and dignity. This is right and is acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires everyone to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God. There is also one mediator between God and humankind, Christ Jesus, himself human, who gave himself a ransom for all. This was attested at the right time. For this I was appointed a herald and an apostle. I am telling the truth. I am not lying. A teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Please stand as read. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life. And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you? You of little faith, therefore do not worry, saying, What will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things. And indeed, your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. Thanksgiving. Giving thanks. In a way, I'm so pleased to see the, the generous offerings of food we've brought in tonight to share with the hungry in our local area. Of course, uh, we'll be glad to receive them after Thanksgiving celebration specifically, but the idea of Thanksgiving, giving thanks, that giving thanks, offering ourselves, offering what we have. And as we said in the, the, the adult class so very recently, I think it was this past Sunday, is sometimes it's the little things that matter the most. The little things turn out to be huge things. The little things, like gosh, I we threw in a can of peas or something, but that, that little thing is an expression of love. It's an expression of concern. It's really an expression of thanks. It's in gratitude to say, you know, I've been blessed. I've been blessed in so many ways, just from life and forgiveness and inspiration and community and love and salvation being on offer that I hope to claim each and every day. There's so much to give thanks for, and then for you know, family and friends and opportunities and life. And, and I know just, and I mean this in particular terms, knowing you and not just in general terms as to all humanity, each of us here have much to be thankful for, much to be thankful, as they say, from <laughs> Those for whom much has been given, much is expected, but just to say that we have been blessed, and I'm, I'm so grateful for that. But Thanksgiving is a way of life. It's not just a day. I mean, of course, we remember a time when 
colonists in a new world were thankful that they had survived into uh, a harvest and that celebration can continue. I hope that we can likewise be thankful for the help that they received and remember the people who helped them and that we're thankful for all of our opportunities including the environment and the place where we live and we're thankful for that and try to do the best for that as well. But just to say Thanksgiving is at the heart of our faith. Uh, indeed, today when we celebrate the Eucharist, the, the, the liturgical portion of this service where we take the bread and take the wine and consecrate it as the body and blood of our Lord, celebrating his real presence is known as the great thanksgiving. So every time we celebrate Eucharist and every other time we come to pray in God's name, we offer thanks. We are just from the bottom of our heart and in the heart of what we're doing, we are offering thanks. Thanks to God. Thanks for what we have received. And in a life of community and sharing and in family and in friendship, we give thanks for what we receive continually from those who are close to us. So just to say, offering thanks. I have to say, it's so easy sometimes to take for granted what we have day in and day out. It becomes sort of expected, almost as if we, you know, deserve it. We're entitled to it, when in fact it's a gift. It's a gift of God. It's a gift of the people who love us. It's a gift of those around us. It's a gift. And so to remember not to take for granted. Sometimes when I've talked with, with patients who've been through real crises of health, and will ask, well, do you see anything differently uh, having been through all this? And many times I'll hear the response, just I don't want to take anything for granted. Take nothing for granted. Not the ability to walk across the room, not the ability to speak to loved ones, to have people available. Just don't take anything for granted. It's a gift. And when you see it as a gift, suddenly the world becomes a different place. It becomes a place of giftedness. It becomes a place of generosity. It becomes a place, it's not that, well, I've got to hold on for mine because I've just got to do that and to heck with everybody else, but rather a place where we give and receive, where generosity is a way of life that we can share, that we're called to, and that we live into. I mean, when we talk about the way of the cross, I mean, Jesus' way of life that leads him to the cross, just to understand that's not about some kind of suffering for suffering's sake or, oh, I'm being dramatic for myself, but rather it's the ultimate expression of love. It's the ultimate expression of generosity. So if we want to live his way, we live in love. It's not a faith that's dominated by threat or sin or punishment or all those things. I mean, yeah, we avoid making mistakes if we can. And when we see that we've come up short, we can seek forgiveness and God's grace. But the main part of what we're about here in a life of faith is a life of love. That God so loves the world that he sends God's only son into the world to redeem the world. That includes us. And everything that Jesus does is an expression of love. God's love for us. God's love for the world. And our salvation is being brought into that relationship. It's not just some kind of intellectual understanding that we've mastered. It's we're brought in to the relationship of love in God and beyond God that saves us. And we do it participating. We participate, we reflect the love of God, we offer the love of God. I say over and over, you want to know the love of God, love generously, because then it's God's love coming through you. Uh, one uh, famous theologian talks about that as double agency, the agency of God and the agency of each one of us together. And that's very, very powerful. So likewise powerful is the power of thanks offer back, to offer to another, to have compassion for the needs of others who may not have all the advantages that we do. And then likewise, it's always a two-way street, not to be 
prideful or so independent that we're unable to receive the gifts of others when we're in need because we're going to be in need too. Each of us, we have our own needs, we have our own strengths, we have what we can offer and what we need to receive. And that's as it should be. That door of giving should be open and it works in both directions. As we give, we can receive. As we receive, we can give. And we find that as we participate in that, just as in the dynamic relationship of God's own life and love, Father, Son, Spirit, loving one another, that we too grow in love as we receive and give love. And we do that with thanks. Let's stand as we're able to stay together for the last thing for you. We believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, the eternal of God and the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things remain, for us and for our salvation, be king down from heaven, by the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified by the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in the glory of the church who are living in the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken to the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the worlds to come. Lord, for your mercy is great. 
We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We will exalt you, O God, our King. And praise your name forever and We pray for all who have died, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them. To prove their trust in you. We pray to you also for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins. of the Lord be always with you. And, and also with, with you. Share in the and also, and also with you. Lift up your heart. Lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. For with your co-eternal Son and Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, in trinity of persons and in unity of being. And we celebrate the one and equal glory of you, O Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and mind, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love, you made us yourself. And when we had fallen into sin, and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Hallelujah. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. The gifts of God for the people of God. God Heavenly Amen. Father, you have Amen. graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food and the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you now and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.